the numbers that we're talking about here are of such a scale that they're almost shocking. Uh, essentially, over the next five months, we have to figure out how to cut between 400 billion and 1.15 trillion from the national security budget, most of which will come out of defense. Over 10 years. Over 10 years. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, there's lots of different ways to think about those numbers, um, you know, stacked up, how many empire state buildings they equal, or, you know, I prefer thinking about it. Essentially, we have to cut somewhere between using the Department of Defense estimates two Chinese military annual budgets or seven Chinese military annual budgets. Um, but my problem is that when you look about, around the discourse in Washington right now, there's two types of questions that we're wrestling with. Um, one is the whether to cut or not. And that ignores the fact that the first $400 billion, that train's already left the station. That's going to happen. The second, as Alice pointed to, is the only thing standing between another roughly $750 billion in cuts is the very slender thread of first the super committee showing the, I would say, sort of um, intelligence and maturity to come up with a package that hits all of these other areas like entitlements, like tax reform, that would actually have a real effect. And secondly, the rest of the Congress and the various political parties showing the maturity to vote yes for that. That's the slender thread. And frankly, based on their behavior the last couple of months, I don't think that's um, something that we can count on.